Okay, this is the final video for the Rika and Son uh, player cabinet grand. It is now finished and put together. So I'm just going to do a quick walk around on the piano and I'll post a little bit of info as far as the year made and that sort of thing on this particular piano. Um, just real quickly, uh, area up here where I did, where there was a um, flower pot mark. The uh, veneer was kind of discolored, but uh, uh, seemed to get it to level out pretty good. Um, and there you see the name. And uh, let's open it up here. This is the player portion here. And uh, you know, check that other video out. But Here's the information on that roll called the Alcoholic Blues. And uh, that's the, I guess, the maker or the uh, distributor of the uh, piano roll. And this looks like an original roll, so this is pretty old. Closing in on a hundred year old piece of paper there. Um, and let's go ahead and open it up here. Um, got a new decal there. This piano actually didn't have one originally. Um, that's the new decal there. And here you can see the uh, controls. I went ahead and polished the brass on this. And I didn't on these pieces. I tend to find that if. Uh, they're not replaced with new ones. These tend to break. They're made of some sort of pot metal or something. And when you polish them, they typically are break on you. So I didn't didn't do anything with those. And uh, that's not included with the work I did purchasing new hardware. So I didn't, didn't do that on this one. But, you know, that's a quick look at that. And um, it's a neat little piece folds up. Um, and there's some of the other brass pieces hardware freshly polished there um, let's walk around this way and just take a quick look at the side of it it's a little bit more red than it was previously and I can tell why they did it in a dark finish we'll turn it kind of get the whole piano there this piano has some damage on the uh, bottom corner and uh, and they painted it dark in order to hide that. So that's why it was staying so dark. But uh, now that gives you a good look of before and after. Just check out the other videos. I'll make sure these are all in a playlist. I think I've got the few that I have shot of this particular piano in a playlist. So uh, you can check the playlist to see the rest of them. Here's the, the pedals. Went ahead and polished those as well. And this door here. Um, reveals the uh, drop down um, pedal. See, I'm not going to lower them all the way or else I'll damage the wood there since it's not on the floor, it's on a dolly. So, but in any, any case, that's put back and so it's all set. This one will uh, be picked up tomorrow and um, going back to its owner. And uh, maybe if I can, I can get some feedback from them on it. But uh, that's it. Uh, Rika and Sons. Well, actually, kind of interesting. The company I got the decal from put an S on it. And if you look at the plate here, it does not have an S. So I'm going to do a little investigating on that and see what I can find out. But uh, I decided not to cut that S off. I'm going to leave it as it is. So. Um, you can see more stuff, uh, more jobs I do like this at uh, on YouTube, Beavers Piano TV. Uh, if you have questions about some stuff you might have seen on this, um, or just you know types of finishes, this one is a closed pour finish, so this is the this will turn this piano back to its original type finish in a lacquer. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, you can get me real quick at, on Twitter at Beavers Piano. Or um, 
over at pianos.proboards.com. That's a forum where uh, you can post questions and and uh, you can get some answers and stuff for things over there as well. So, uh, you know, catch us one of those three ways and uh, just take a look at some of the other videos on uh, YouTube and uh, just let me know what you think. Thanks so much.